Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to OG Entertainment. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys everything new and exciting about Axie Origin, okay? Um, so you can see that I've, I'm logged in here, you can see the fancy new interface, you can see the beautiful Axies, you can see your level uh, up at the top of the screen here. Um, but I want to tell you guys all the important details that you might not know before getting into Axie Origin. Um, so when you do start playing Origin, uh, you do get directly put into Adventure Mode. Uh, you must complete Adventure Levels here. Um, the tutorial is optional, um, but you must go through some of the Adventure Levels before you can actually get started. Um, as you go through and progress through the Adventure Mode, which is actually quite a bit more fun in Axie Classic, aka V2, uh, you can actually unlock more Starter Axies as you go through the levels. Uh, and by the time that you complete uh, complete the adventure mode, um, you will actually have uh, five five axes. Okay, um, you can go in here. You can actually filter through. You can filter through starter axes, personal axes, uh, and you can see here that you uh, that, that I now have five starter axes. Uh, you can have these axes as well. Um, you can actually use these axes in the arena, um, in addition to using them in adventure mode. Um, so let's say you're somebody that owns maybe only one or two axes. Uh, you can add, you know, one, one or two of these axes into your team to give you a full team of three so that you're able to go and compete. Um, there's a ton of things that you can do. But the main thing is, is that you start off with Olek, Puffy, and Bubba. And as you go through the story mode, you will unlock Ina and Trip as well. Um, I haven't tried them myself. I've been using my own axes the entire time. But I have seen other players on the leaderboard uh, using Puffy, and I've seen some players using Ina as well. Um, there's obviously a ton of filtering options here for you to go through all your axes. Um, you can sort by moves up at the top. Uh, like something that's very powerful in, uh, in Origin is a tiny turtle, uh, the chomp move. Um, let's take a look at that really quickly. Tiny Turtle, as we pull it up. I was trying to get a bigger view by clicking on it, but uh, just quickly here. So you can target any any enemy with Chomp, okay? Um, so that's huge. Uh, and when you can you apply Stun for two turns uh, if you cause any HP loss to your enemy. Um, so this card is so powerful because uh, Stun in, in the new version of Axie, um, you really don't have a way to get around it. And when you're stunned, there's really not much that you're able to do. Um, so you can realistically shut down an Axie uh, by using Tiny Turtle and stunning it. Being able to choose the Axie is also of huge value. Um, <clears throat> I'll show off one of my newest Axies that I picked up recently for Origin. Um, he has Tiny Turtle for that stun ability like I was just mentioning. Uh, but he also has the Kestrel. Uh, and Disarm also shuts down your opponent pretty well in Axie Origin. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap build to try and climb the leaderboard, um, I would definitely recommend picking up something with the Stun, which is the Chomp, or something with the Disarm, uh, which is the Kestrel. If you're lucky enough, you can get one with both. Uh, but those are some, some great moves here for Axie Origin. Um, a couple things to show you guys. Um, when you guys go into the arena here, um, you guys will see all the different options that we have. Uh, there's now practice mode, so you can go in and practice. Uh, there's going to be a tournament mode coming in the future, but most importantly, the one in the middle is ranked mode. Uh, you can see that I've been able to climb to the challenger tier uh, within the first, I think we're within 36 hours of drop. Um, so I was able to climb up really quickly. I did play it uh, for 24 hours. I did a full live stream. Um, you guys can check that on the channel if you have uh, some time, but you guys can see my whole progression all the way through. Um, as you level up through the different ranks, uh, you're actually going to collect Moon Shards, and I'll explain to you guys what Moon Shards do here in a little bit. Uh, but basically, moral of the story, you climb the leaderboard, you gain more Moon Shards, and you use the Moon Shards to craft. Uh, I've dropped down a little bit since I've played last, but I'm currently sitting at 180th ranked in the world at the moment, and you can see that ranking now goes by stars. Uh, once you're in the challenger tier, it's, it's sorted by stars, and I'm about 26 stars away from rank 100. 
Uh, you gain two stars per level. You also lose two stars per level. Um, so obviously, I need to win about 13 games, I guess, uh, to climb up. But no problem. Just need the time to do it. Um, so not only is there the ranked. Obviously, I showed you guys a little bit earlier, but there's the adventure side of things as well. Uh, you, so you can go all the way through adventure and you unlock uh, more moon shards down at the bottom. All the moon shards you're unlocking go towards crafting. Crafting is a new tool in Axie Infinity. Um, you're able to craft your charms and runes and then go into your Axie screen and actually equip them on your Axie. So you can see here we have uh, that beautiful reptile I was telling you guys about earlier. You can see he has a rune in the first slot. Uh, no rune in the second slot yet, but I would imagine that there'll be one that'll open up soon enough. Uh, and then in addition, you can go in and you can equip all the charms. It's just a matter of going in and clicking the one that's best for your Axie. Take all these off, put them all back on, yada yada. Show you guys how it works. Pretty cool stuff. Um, all your runes that you craft go into your collection. Same with your charms. Uh, so the first one here is your runes. Uh, you can see what's been unlocked. What hasn't been unlocked is still grayed out. Uh, and you can go all the way through and see it for all different types. Uh, Magical Leaf. I didn't even realize I picked that one up. Start the battle with three leaf. Pretty cool. Um, Venom Master is another one I've picked up. And I guess it's just kind of like a race to see who can unlock, you know, the runes the fastest or unlock the most powerful runes the quickest. Um, you unlock charms as well. Uh, attach those to your axes. As you attach them to your axe, you can gain extra damage, extra health, uh, things like that. Um, you can see the moon shards pool in your inventory and you can basically, I'm going to craft something for you live to show you guys how it works, but your moon shards come up here. Um, you can, you will be able to use SLP as well in the future, uh, or you will need SLP to craft some of these items down the road. Uh, but for now they haven't turned that part of the mechanic on. So you only need the moon shards at the moment. So we'll go ahead, uh, and you can see basically what, uh, the probabilities are for what you're going to pop out when you actually go ahead and craft. Um, something that's pretty cool is that you can actually add uh, additional items to your crafting to make a better item. Uh, now in my experience from what I've noticed so far with this is that it doesn't actually have the full effect that it should have. Uh, so for example what I've noticed is that let's say I add you know three epic moon dust into these open slots here. Uh, with my item when I go ahead to craft, I'm not really getting better items than if I just craft it without any. Um, I think that's either a bug or something that just, you know, isn't working exactly how it was intended on the back end. Um, so anyways, I'll go ahead and I'll craft something. Let's see if we get something good. Look at that. We got a mini legion rune, which is actually a pretty solid rune. Uh, works really good with summons. Um, combos well with hollow. Um... Speaking of hollow, I'll, I'll quickly talk to you guys about some of the moves that are stronger right now in uh, in Axie Origin. So here's my most recent recent match history. And no, I don't always win. I just uh, I just happened to be on a pretty good streak this morning. But um, you can see that uh, Aquas are still very powerful. Um, Triple Aqua Team is one of the most meta meta builds at the moment. Um, the underrated part of the build that people probably don't know of, uh, is, is the bubble maker, uh, bubble maker and gill on the ears to create bubbles and bubble bombs. Um, very, very powerful in origin. Um, Koi is OP. Uh, <clears throat> the damage that you can hit on Koi is just, it's, it's extreme. So, um, a triple aqua build with a Koi and some bubbles, very strong build. Um, you can see here double chomps. Um, and you guys saw my ranking. We're up. We're up close to the top of the top of the leaderboard here. Um, what else? We got Chomp, uh, Chomp with Garish, uh, some summons as well. Clover on the summons is pretty good. Um, you can see the build right before that is actually Gugus. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, Gugus is a huge uh, YouTuber in the Axie space, but he's playing a summons build with Hollow on the ears uh, and Clover on the ears. So. He's got three different summons on his build. Um, very powerful build. Uh, he's also in the challenger tier. Um, some nice damage here from uh, the beast and the aqua with a tank in the middle. Um, kind of... I, I was going to say, this is kind of like 
a more more v2 ish build um interesting how it was played when it was played against me obviously beast in the front line plant in the midline with the aqua in the back um not really the top tier of, of what i've seen so far in uh, in origin you know more top tier origin looks something like this um bubble makers three aquas you know so you can see three aquas again um using one of the starter axes in this build um, so you can see even up at the high end of the leaderboard, there's still some starter axes making their way. Double bubble makers in here. Actually, triple bubble makers. Um, so bubble maker really strong up here. Um, the one build that I do want to shout out. Uh, I, oh, here it is right here. Watch. Uh, I can show you guys it. Um, it. There's always a lot to be learned when you lose. Um, you can learn things when you win. But uh, take a look at this build. Um, triple hot butt. Uh, with summons, okay? I'm going to play it in double speed, and I'll just explain basically what the concept of the build is here that Danubo is doing to me. Um, the whole strategy is based around putting a bunch of burns into my deck using hot butt, and then summoning, uh, you know, summoning using hollow, uh, and basically making it so that I have to attack the trunks um, instead of being able to attack his axes. So he just keeps summoning the trunks, and... Uh, they have taunt on them, so your attacks get drawn to it. Um, even a, an attack like my chomp that has targeting, I still have to hit the trunk. Um, so the the whole strategy behind the build is just summon trunks to spam, and then just basically fill the deck with hot butts. And uh, the burns, um, if we could see burn, I'm trying to get a burn up for you guys so you guys can see burn. Uh, so burn right here, I don't know if you guys can read that, but... Basically, it's. I'll read it to you. It says, um, at the end of your turn, all allies take 8 damage, right? So depending on how many burns you had to discard that turn, uh, and you'll see by the end of the game, it ends up being like 3 or 4 burns a turn. Um, it, it's, it's ticking me down faster than a traditional poison build in V2, uh, and that's basically what's going what's gonna to eventually finish me off. Um you know, because of the trunks, I'm not able to break through his walls uh, and actually take him, take down his axes. Um, and it just becomes too much, uh, too many burn cards in my hand. You can see I got 25 cards in my in my discard. Once this this resets, uh, my draw is on the left, discard on the right. Uh, your deck resets after. Um, you can see my hand is now full of burn cards. Um, this is actually a lucky draw, but you'll see out of the 22 cards I have, it's basically all burns. He's still putting more burns in. Uh, and by the end of this battle, I'm not able to do much. Um, so it just kind of gives you an example of something that's really powerful. This would be an example of one of the only builds uh, up at this, at this rating that I haven't been able to handle. Um, my build has been really strong so far moving, moving forward. Um, I switched to this build uh, around, let's see, boar rating, which is the fourth from the bottom. Um, and since I switched to it, you know, no looking back, it's been very powerful. But, like, look at these burns just accumulating in my hand. And I just start taking passive damage, and, I, and it really just burns me to the ground. And I'm not able to actually break through. Um, think of it as, like, a triple plant in V2 or something like that. Um, I don't even need to show the whole thing, but or maybe I will, just for you guys. I'll just let it play out, but um, look at my axes just taking passive damage every turn as all I can draw is burns. Um, not only is burn going to tick me down, it's also going to stop me from getting any of my actual damage cards that I could use to actually try to win the game. Um, so yeah, there's been a lot of hype about aquas. Aquas are really, really strong, but low-key... Uh, this build here is actually significantly stronger than the Aqua builds. Um, you can see we get a follow here. As uh, as I do record this live, um, I record live on Twitch, and then I bring the video over and I upload it onto YouTube. Um, so just about, just about through it here. It's a little painful for me to watch, you know. My poor Axie is getting burned, burned to the ground, but... Um, I really just want to showcase the strength of this build for somebody who's trying to figure out origin, trying to understand, you know, what's strong. Um, this triple hop up build, very strong. Um, like I said, Aquas are still really strong as well with Nemo, Koi. 
Um, Koi is really the, the difference maker. And then make sure to get some bubble makers on there too. But uh, you guys can see like my match history. Like I've been, you know, over the last little while, I've still been climbing. And uh, we're, we're up pretty high on the arena. Like we're in challenger tier. Uh, you can see I've dropped two spots since the start of this video. So uh, I got to get back to playing games. But that being said, I uh, just wanted to take a few seconds to show you guys some of the ins and outs of, of Origin here. And uh, if you guys have any questions, as always, make sure to uh, get at me in the Discord. You can get a hold of me on Twitch. Uh, you can get a hold of me on Twitter. Um, basically, anywhere where you guys can find my social media, uh, feel free to reach out. Um, the easiest place is usually to talk to me in Discord. So if you hit me up somewhere, uh, I'll probably fire you a Discord link and we can chat more in the Discord. But um, that's going to be it for now. Um, if you guys, like I said, any more questions about Origins, uh, don't be shy. And we'll talk again soon, fam. All right. Have a great day. Peace.